What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Chop here and I'm coming at you with another work slash life update. This one's going to be a full length one. Yesterday was kind of a, a half one um, because I ran out of time. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, it's burp. But, ooh, my front bumper. <laughs> anyway, so uh, just got finished working at Pizza Planet. Good old Peeville or whatever people call it. The planet of pizzas I don't know but anyway so uh, today was a um, a day that uh, I'm not used to and that is I didn't work the deli this morning or this afternoon rather I was told uh, yesterday when I left to call um, up there before my shift and see if I even had to go into work today because apparently we were supposed to this kind of pissed me off. We were we were supposed to get like upwards of like 10 inches of snow yesterday. And of course it, it just spit snow. Like it was it wasn't even an inch. But um Yeah, so I went ahead and called. Like I didn't know if the roads were bad or anything. So uh, I, I woke up and I called and I was like, hey, y'all need me. And my manager said, nah, I think we're okay. Um, but thanks anyway. You you enjoy your afternoon off and you know just have a good day and all that stuff. And I was like, yeah, thanks. Um, so I spent my day, uh, for those of you that follow me on Snapchat, uh, I took Chandler to a uh, dog park in town. Uh, dog park I didn't even know existed until like two, three weeks ago. Um, it was the day that uh, I found out that Kobe died. Uh, that was the day that uh, I figured out that there was a dog park. But I took Chandler um, because uh, we have decided that his aggression... Uh, pretty much needs him to just just wear himself out you know just exercise get get the uh, energy off and out and uh, just take a nap when you're done so what we did with him is uh, or what I did with him is for about 30 minutes today I went uh, to the dog park which nobody was there it was deserted and that was fantastic because I got the whole park to myself with Chandler um, we played frisbee the whole time and uh, I would just chuck it as far as I could and he would go get it and bring it back and lather, rinse, repeat. Uh, dogs uh, like him have a one-track mind, so that's all they wanted to do was he wanted to play Frisbee. And then he told me when he was ready to go. <laughs> he uh, grabbed his Frisbee and walked towards the gate and was like, all right, let's go. I'm like, all right, buddy, we'll get out of here. Because he got soaking wet. He got filthy. He... God, man, he looked like that he rolled it around in some, into like some pig shit or something because he was all brown and crusty and all wet and everything, but he still had a smile on his face and his uh, tongue was sticking out. It looked like it was about to fall off. The poor guy was so tired. So um, that's what I did. Um, and then just did some stuff around the house this morning. I uh, did some laundry and uh, I did laundry. Put it in the washing machine, transfer it over to the dryer, and folded it all in one day. Yes, I'm that good. Because <laughs> most people, it's like, you know, the memes on Facebook, it's like uh, uh, folding laundry, or, uh, you know, doing the laundry, you know, takes like an hour. Um, folding, a uh, folding the laundry and putting away uh, uh, five to seven business days or something like that. And I thought that was kind of funny because, I mean, usually... I, don't know, I think the longest uh, the laundry's ever sat in the dryer for me has probably been a week, um, and then we um, eventually end up taking it out and folding it. Or uh, Casey needs needs to use the the, uh, the dryer, so she'll take it and put it on her bed or something like that. And I'm like, yep. Yeah, well, if I want to sleep tonight, I need to uh, get rid of this giant pile of laundry. But anyway, so that did that and played a little bit of Madden. I did something uh, just. I just did something that you know was spontaneous with the uh, the franchise. I made myself a head coach uh, for the Dallas Cowboys, and I pretty much just did um, just traded a bunch of pieces around and tried to get you know draft picks and, and better players and, and players that I like and everything like that. So and then you know pick up players in free agency. So I picked up Des Bryant in free agency. I picked up uh, Eric Berry in free agency as well as uh, Star Latule. I can't remember. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And then just a couple of, you know, just just random characters, you know, just picked up yeah, for depth, for, like, the offensive line and stuff like that. And um, I uh, 
picked up a couple of running backs to uh, back up uh, Zeke and Pollard. So I picked up Zach Zinner, who unfortunately went down with a uh, with an injury that ended his season. So I went and picked up uh, Trayvon Williams, the running back from Texas A&M, and he's usually pretty good for me. And he, he's he's done pretty good. Uh, Zeke's leading the league in rushing. That's no surprise. And I traded Dak Prescott to the Saints. Uh, no, not to the Saints. I traded him to the Dolphins. So I traded Dak to the Dolphins for, uh, I think, two second-round picks. Um, and then I used one of those second-round picks, and I picked up uh, Teddy Bridgewater from uh, the Saints. Uh, second-round pick and then two players uh, from the Cowboys that I really didn't want. So I, then I got Teddy Bridgewater. So there you go. And uh, right now we are uh, – I started this last night, and right now we are 11-0. and 0. So, go figure. Uh, I played a little bit after uh, Chris and I finished playing Friday the 13th. I uh, told Chris I was going to sleep, but uh, actually I was, I uh, couldn't sleep. So, I just uh, stayed up for another like hour and a half and created the franchise and, and did all the trades and stuff that I wanted to do. But anyway, so there's that. Uh, we're 11 and out, which surprises me. There's a couple of games where I thought for sure that we were going to lose, like to the Patriots. And then I've already played the Giants twice. And, um... The second time we played the Giants, it, it pretty much came down to a two-point conversion and an onside kick, which they didn't get either of them, so I ended up winning like 28-26 or something like that. I was like, woo! Otherwise, I think they might have actually, because uh, they they, uh, they had my number almost the entire time. I think Zeke only had like 75 rushing yards the entire game, so they had my number. Um, and of course, you know, the, it's the Giants roster from this year, so they have Daniel Jones and, and Saquon Barkley and... Uh, Brandon Marshall on offense, you know, just people like that. Uh, Zeke unlocked his uh, X Factor trait, which was awesome. Um, and I tried to get Michael Gallup to get his uh, his uh, his uh, All Star trait, or I can't remember his star trait, um, but he got hurt during the game. I was trying to get his trait, so I'm gonna have to wait for another opportunity to do that for him. But anyway, enough about that. Yeah, I just did a Canadian on, on purpose. A boot. Enough about that. So. I did that and then um, went to work at a Pizza Planet tonight. Tonight was very, very slow. Um, and I was really kind of kind of bummed out that uh, the deli pretty much told me this morning that um, they didn't need me. So I was like, yeah, okay, that's, that's fine. It's whatever. It was only a two-hour shift, but still, I'm just kind of like, eh, because I don't work there the rest of the week because they gave me a random Wednesday off for tomorrow, which I don't know why. Um, I just asked for Thursday, Friday, and they gave me Wednesday, Thursday, Friday <laughs> off. And so I uh, went and uh, I filled out an application to a uh, the thing I was telling you guys about, about the three places that are hiring, the three uh, stores that are hiring, uh, the fr this franchise uh, that I'm not going to mention names. Um, and uh, so I filled out an application for them, and uh, we'll see what happens there. Um, and then uh, went to Petco today and got more cat litter and tried to get more crickets for the tree frog. Yes, we have a tree frog. And uh, they said, oh, they won't be ready for another hour. So I was like, dang it. So I went ahead and got cat litter because my cats have been sitting in that dirty litter for like two weeks. And I feel like a terrible, terrible cat dad. So eh, go figure. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I went, uh, worked tonight. It was a slow night. Um, I wasn't making anything, and my my last run that I did, I only took four deliveries tonight, uh, which that's how slow it was. So I took a two runner, and then another two runner, and then it was done. Um, the first one wasn't too bad. Uh, got tipped on both of them uh, very nicely. Um, and then the second uh, one, the first of the, uh, the two runner, I delivered to a uh, nursing home. And nursing homes are Russian roulette. They're, they're a coin flip. Um, the nurses either will tip you just a king's ransom or they will tip you nothing. Uh, so, and it was very frustrating today at this nursing home because they have two, uh, two buildings. And uh, so I went to the first building and rang the doorbell, nothing. Stood there for about two minutes, nothing. So I went to the second building, rang the doorbell, lady came right up, and she was like, oh, well, the person you're looking for is in that building. Um, I am not. Uh, it's against policy for me to leave this building to go escort you to the other building, so I'll give her a call. I was like, yeah, thanks. So I gave her a call, 
waited a couple more minutes and uh, rang the doorbell multiple times. Nothing. I was like, for God's sake. So I went back to my car and called this, uh, this nurse. And uh, she was really, really rude on the phone at first. And then she realized, oh, it's the delivery guy. Maybe I should be nice. But um, yeah, I picked up the phone. I was like, hi, is this so-and-so? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, you know, shit. Don't be rude. But, uh, yeah, this is a column with Pizza Planet. Just uh, here with your food if you want to come get it. If not, I can, I can gladly piss off and take the food with me and eat it on the way to uh, Bushland. I had to deliver to Bushland today, which is a... Uh, like a town on the outskirts of Amarillo it's about 15 minutes away and uh, so we um, uh, we deliver out there sometimes we're actually I think we're gonna get rid of the delivery for Bushland but um, I delivered to Bushland and uh, it felt like forever like I was just going down this road like it felt like hours but um, I eventually got to the house and you know parked on the side and the guy left me a $15 tip. I was like, <laughs> like yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate you. Jeez. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. So the nurse ended up tipping me 22 cents. So that was the record. If zero, not counting zero, my record is now 22 cents of the lowest I've ever been tipped. Um, before that, the record was 87 cents. But now it's 22 cents. So there you go. Um, so I got $15 and then a $5 delivery fee on top of that. So that was awesome. And I, I thanked him. I thanked him, you know, multiple times. That was great because I got to go 15 minutes there and 15 minutes back. So it's a 30 minutes, uh, one, uh, round trip. So I was like, good, you know, even like a $5 tip would be nice. Or, you know, even like a $3 tip would be nice, but at 15, I was like, thanks man. You just made my night. Like literally. Um, without you, I probably wouldn't have made Jack squat. But anyway, so that was the last of that. Now I'm bringing pizza home. I'm home. Um, nothing really to talk about much. Oh, uh, Jerry, I, I remember one of your questions finally. Um, Jerry asked if I play the, uh, if there's, if they still make Rock Band or if I play the old one. The last one they made is Rock Band 4, I think back in like 2015, I think is when they released it. Um, but they're still adding like, DLC and stuff to it, which is great because for the longest time between Rock Band 3 and 4, like they didn't do anything DLC wise, and it was very upsetting. They actually released uh, American Pie as their official last DLC song because the day the music died, you know, it was just a whole spiel. Um, but they finally uh, released Rock Band 4 and started doing more DLC. Um, but I, I download it once in a while, but. Um, I gotta, of course, get my ghost in there, and I gotta get um, just random songs that I, you know, I like. Like uh, for Halloween, they released uh, "Unsainted," the uh, off the new album by Slipknot. So I got that one, and then they also released uh, "Feed My Frankenstein" by Alice Cooper. So I went and just got both of those for Halloween, and I think that was the last DLC that I downloaded was Halloween. But um, anyway, so yeah, I, I play Rock Band Four. Uh, I played on the bass. I played on guitar yesterday just for fun. I made like a little like uh, nine song set list on, on guitar and played it. And I picked one song from each game, quote unquote. So Rock Band 1 all the way to 4 and then um, Green Day Rock Band and then Lego Rock Band. Um, unfortunately, you can't get the Beatles Rock Band on there. That pisses me off. Um, and then the Rock Band Network. Um, so I did that, and then I did a couple of uh, DLC songs. Um, one that I downloaded like during Rock Band 3 and one I downloaded during Rock Band 4. So it ended up being a nine-song set list, and it was fun. I was a little rusty. Um, I think the worst that I did was like 92% on Expert on Guitar. The best I did was uh, like 99% because I did, I did miss a couple of notes because uh, sometimes like when I'm playing, my nose will itch or um, like my finger will slip off or I'll... Uh, you know, just, it happens. Shit happens. Uh, sometimes. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm enough rambling. If you guys want to ask me more questions, go for it. Um, uh, I think Freddy vs. Captain Avenger being released on Valentine's Day might not happen. But then again, we'll see. You know, things change. Um, but uh, I'm very optimistic that things will happen. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, guys, I'll, I'll definitely... Uh, keep tabs on that and see what happens uh, how many times am I going to say happen 
uh, I will release another ad for tomorrow for the uh, the Huskies, and I think that might be my final one. I'm gonna release the other ones when season two happens, which hopefully season two is gonna happen very very quickly, as well as the Cowboys franchise for you guys. And yeah, that's that's all I got pretty much going on right now. But thank y'all so much once again for dropping by, and always remember my little piglets, Colin Portchop. Loves y'all the most, so y'all take it easy, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys! Oh.